In athletics, Jerome Blackett was two and a half minutes off the record as he won the second race of the co-operators National Sports Council's 5K Road Race Series. This one was on the Bay Street Circuit. Blackett clocked 16 minutes, 49 seconds to be the fastest man home, but it still wasn't good enough to beat the record of 14 minutes, 20 seconds. Raheem Skinner was second in 16 minutes, 35 seconds, and Rashad Blackman third in 17 minutes, 4 seconds. Meanwhile, in the women's section, Carly Pipe, who placed second in the first race, was first home this time around in 19 minutes, 41 seconds, ahead of her main rival, Elizabeth Renondum, who was timed at 20 minutes, 4 seconds, while Elizabeth Williams was third in 20 minutes, 39 seconds. There were victories last night for TS Strikers, Barbados Steel Works SO Oysting's top base settlers and Beijing Pride. All this from the Lion Pelican Football Challenge triple header at the National Stadium. CBC's Anne-Marie Burke reports. TS strikers and academics were first to the field and this match was wrapped up in the 25th minute of play. Rico Baptiste runs rings through the defense before displaying the power of his right foot. Into the back of the net from long range, TS strikers defending that goal for the rest of the game to be 1-0 winners over academics. Game number two featured LG Strike Force in red up against top base settlers. Like their name suggests, Strike Force would strike early. Two minutes into the game, the keeper comes off his line and Hayden Holligan makes the opportunity count. Celebrations were in full effect. They took that advantage into the second half. But Top Bay would not be sitting tight and they stepped up their game. Strike Force playing around with the ball a bit too close to goal and Top Bay steals. Mustafa Hack to be exact and even playing field now. One all. Hack would strike again this time collecting the block off the defence getting the left boot to it. Precision I say as Top Bay are back in command. 2-1. Make it 3-1. Five minutes later, Raheem Sargent would get his name on the cards, staving off not one, but two defenders to seal the deal. Goal! On the brink of time, Strike Force will pull one back. Rudy Grosner finished the play, but Top Bay had already settled the score 3-2 to the boys from the East. And in the night's feature game, Bajan Pride handed it to Wright Snappers. Anderson Granham had easy pickings off the custodian, but in Bajan Pride up 1-0 in the 31st minute. Granham entertaining the crowd. And on the other side of the whistle, in the 90th, Carlo Perry was the man to finish off the play. Bajan Pride, 2-0 winners over Wright Snappers. Anne-Marie Burke, CBC Sports. Thanks, Anne-Marie, and a 30% drop in sponsorship didn't deter organizers of that Lion Pelican football challenge from staging the event this year. Confirmation of this came from head of the Lion Pelican Creative Services, Mayor Montley. Ms. Montley was speaking after sponsors Lion presented the prize money check worth $100,000 at the National Stadium recently. Also on hand were representatives of the winners of the inaugural final, Beijing Pride. Ms. Motley says for now, they have had to shelve some of their plans, including expanding the tournament regionally. Our sponsorship is down, not with Lime, but with other sponsors by just about 30%, so that we're going into this tournament truly with a lot of faith. The Bible tells you to walk by faith and not by sight, and this is one year we're doing it because we feel that this is the Opportunity is still the cheapest form of entertainment in town in Barbados over the next few months and the safest form of entertainment. And to that extent, um, even though our sponsorship is down by 30%, um, and even though we've taken a conscious decision to be sensitive to people's pockets or the fact that more people are unemployed and some are underemployed three day a week, four day a week, we've dropped the price from $15 to $10 for basic admission. Um, but we feel that we're not looking to make a kill cow. We're looking just to get to the finish line this year. Now, Head of Marketing and Corporate Communications at Lyme, Rachel Pilgrim, says there is something for everyone at these weekend games. Double top-up credits every week at the game. All you have to do is have your Lyme bandana or your Lyme shirt, and it's not bonus credit, it is pure credit. So you can use it to ring anything. 
We do $500 cash every Sunday in a text competition for just 25 cents. And there's loads and loads of other giveaways every Sunday, aren't there, from all the various right. sponsors. So there's a lot of things to win. It's lovely being back at the, the stadium. The atmosphere is great. And it's a real nice thing for families to do on a Sunday afternoon. So we encourage everybody to come out and support the football.